just starts saucing Saren with straight dribble moves. And then he's just like, I thought I told you guys I was the king of the court. Now kneel. And then bro literally makes them fall to their knees, yo. He goes past them behind the backboard and flips up a lay from Bob. Now to cap all this video, we gotta talk about Midori Ma, aka Stephen Curry Jr. Now our first time seeing this man is when they are playing Saren. Kuroko started the game off with a mean lob to Kagami. But then as he's up in the air, this man Curry Jr. comes out of nowhere and is like, give me that weak Then he's just like, you are officially my baby son. So when they get the possession back, Curry ends up getting a dime at the deep three. And old dude's like, ain't no way he making that man. And I told y'all this man was Curry Jr. cause he shoots that thing and turns around. <sighs> Keep running gang, that's a green light animation. Like, I don't think y'all understand. This was bro's first shot of the game. So as everybody's flabbergasted, this man Kuroko's about to inbound the ball, and then he just starts spinning with that John. And then he throws the meanest cross-court Tom Brady pass to Kagami for that slam. And if you ask me after seeing this, I think Kuroko's playing the wrong sport. NFL, who needs a quarterback? You feel me? And you know the other team must have peeped this because they started locking this man Kuroko up. Like, no easy passes. Like, bro, they had this man distraught. <laughs> Bro was literally in contemplation with life. So yeah, Saren ends up calling a timeout to get their stuff together. And out the timeout, this man Kagami's like, hey, you can shoot threes, I can do it too. And he just pulls a random three and bricks. And then this man comes back and does a put back dunk for his own missed shot. Like this man is superhuman. Don't lie, that was a cute little put back dunk, my baby son. But let me show you something. Full court shot. And when I tell you this man pulled a full court shot like he was shooting from the free throw line, he kept his form and everything. And then bro was just like, I'm going to keep telling you, I'm the greatest shooter alive. Like, hold up, quick pause. Like, y'all don't understand. If a dude shoots a full court shot on me and talks smack while doing it, I'm going home. I'm headed to the crib, bro. I'm I'm done. I'm, I'm done with basketball after that, bro. So when they get into their huddles for a timeout, Midorin was like, Coach, I have a request. What is it? Let me have the ball the whole quarter. I'm going to cook them. So right out the timeout, Midori Mahis Kagami with a mean spin, pull up, splash. And then this man ends up getting a rep and pulling it from the other side of the court again. And then he's like, I thought this would be a better game. I'm gonna pull it again from here. <laughs> and so after hearing this, Kagami's angry and bro just goes and jumps with him, fully contesting the full court shot. And no way he makes this, right? Heavily contested. Like this ain't 2K, right? But yeah, that's Midorima, aka Stephen Curry Jr. On to the next character, which is my favorite character, Almine. So when we first get introduced to Almine, we can see he's an absolute menace. It's like his teammates trying to force him to go to practice, but he's just like, man, get your hands off me. I'm not gonna tell you again. But you gotta. And then he just needs his teammates because he wouldn't let go. Finally, Almine is like, oh y'all, um, if we don't have a room, we can't practice, correct? Well, yeah. Uh, well, technically, we need a room to practice, so yeah. So then this man just takes off out the rim and does a crazy dunk, absolutely eviscerating the hoop. Hmm. Well, looks like there's no practice today. <laughs> but in a strange way, I do kind of feel bad because you guys do need to practice. But it's not like you'll catch up to me or anything. Now back to present day, Sanders putting up a good fight against Almine's team. But the thing is, Almine's not even there for real. And by there, I mean bro's not even in the arena. So it's Kagami subbing in, guess who just randomly spawns in? So I've heard I might have some competition today, but I think that's Cap. Man, get your hands off me. Hey, Almine, Coach said you gotta play today since you weren't here on time. <sighs> of course he did. But you know, I don't really mind too much today because I do kind of feel like playing. So as soon as this man Almine touches the rock, he just starts cooking and he hits this man Kagami with a mean cross blow by. Then he hits for us with a, uh, another spin and he's got the whole team shook right now. So Almine's going up for this Jordan looking dunk and then out of nowhere, Kagami comes and blocks this man like it was nothing. So now Saren's got a fast break and they dive into Kagami for a dunk, but now he gets blocked by Almine. Like, I don't know how they teleporting across the court like this, but I'm here for it, you feel me? And that block right there ends up ending the quarter and I mean it's just like hey these guys aren't terrible I'll be honest I might miss running try in the second half so when Amina gets the ball, he ends up blowing by Kagami like it was nothing. But as he gets to the paint, he's got two guys on him. So he jumps, stop, and fades away on two people. But out of nowhere, Kagami swats his stuff. And now Amina's looking upset because he just sold his clip. So now this man Kagami tries to go down for another fast break. And what do you know? 
Amine's there to swat his stuff back, man. So when Amine gets back on offense, he's like, now I'm gonna have to cook you, Kagami. Then he starts hitting this man with random my park size ups. He does some weird street ball fake out move. And then he puts this man, Kagami, in an ankle breaker animation. And as he drives to the paint, there are three blockers jumping with this man. And you know what he does? He goes past them behind the backboard and flips up a lay from behind the backboard. Like I said, bro, I'm taking it to the crib. After some of these shots, man, I just go home after this. I retire. So Kagami's finally had enough, and then he goes on Kawhi mode on Amine, but it's not enough because look at this dumb shot that he throws on him, and it goes in. And so, people, after we get a random flashback of this dude's childhood, and I guess he's always been a dog because bro was hooping against grown men at the park, man. I don't know what's going on right now, bro. What am I watching? Because Amine's coming back down the court. He's just got this devious look on his face. Then, bro, fake loses the ball only to snatch it right back before four eyes could grab it. So Zamine pulls up for a mid-range. Kagami's whole arm is above this man. I don't know how he's going to get this shot off. But then Amine's just like, you know, you play great defense, but I just play better offense and better in general. And then this man gets a shot off with his back bent a cool 160 degrees. But he wasn't done because his next shot was even crazier. So Amine's on a fast break with this man Kagami hawking him down, right? And as he goes up for the lay, this man Kagami fouls him and he flips it up behind his shoulder. I don't even know how to explain this shot, I'm gonna be real, but y'all look at this. Like what type of Space Jam moves they got this man doing? This is unreal even for anime, I don't care. So after this diabolical N1, Almine just looks at the team and is like, listen y'all, the only one who could beat me is me. And bro was not lying, cause he went on the drop, I don't even know, probably a cool 80 points, cause look at this final score, bruh. And now onto the final character we're gonna talk about today, the captain of the generation of miracles, Akashi. Now instantly to start off this game, per usual, Kuroko throws a dime to Kagami and he just slams it on Akashi's head. And you can just tell this is a newer season cause look how dramatically high this dude is in the air. So after Kagami racks up a few more points, this man Akashi's like, all right, let me guard him. But he easily blows by this man Akashi. But the thing is when he goes to do his meteor jam, he misses. And then Akashi's like, I knew you were gonna miss it from there. And it turns out bro read he was gonna take that extra step which is gonna throw him off, but that's besides the point. Cause when Akashi gets the ball, he just starts blowing by people. Then he's like, Kagami, go ahead and take a seat for me, please. Then he puts this man Kagami on his behind. And yeah, Kagami's lucky his teammate sold the clip and got blocked though. Cause that would have been on hoop mix and ball is life, everything. So huge fast forward, Saren's losing pretty bad right now. But the thing is they're getting momentum for a comeback. And by momentum, they really just started balling. I won't even lie to you. And as Akashi's taking the ball down the court, he just sees that this man Kagami's on go. And he even ends up passing the ball. And so peep, then we get a flashback of Akashi explaining how he gets in his zone. And then it's just like basically him saying he has to play solo or by himself. And so back to present day, Saren gets another bucket and the game's within 10 points. And so Kagami's going on a fast break and Akashi's the only one standing there playing defense. And now he's about to hit the meanest poster, this man Akashi snatches the ball one hand from him. And then bro's like, I'm king of the court, so lay down. And so then this man Akashi just starts taking off like a crackhead, but Kagami's right behind him somehow. And then when bro gets down the court, he just starts saucing Saren with straight dribble moves. And then he's just like, I thought I told you guys I was the king of the court, now kneel. And then bro literally makes them fall to their knees, yo. Like I can't make this up. And so after he takes it to the room, he hits Kuroko and the old boy with a mean spin fillet. He has the nerve to say something along the lines of this. Peasants should always know their place in the eyes of the king. And bro doesn't even look at the shot as it goes in. <laughs> and so as Saren's taking the ball down, this man is quite literally playing defense by himself. And he uses some type of conqueror's hockey from One Piece and gets a steal. And so Kagami's down there playing defense, but once again, he gets his ankle snatched, bro. Like, how is this man gonna go to school the next day? Getting exposed, put on hoop mixes like this. Then the cameraman zooms into Akashi, who's like, Yup, know your place, buddy. And so after getting violated, Kagami starts to figure out the clue to getting in the zone and how he's gonna beat this man. But we gonna come back to that. Cause the next play down, Akashi actually gets the ball ripped from him by Kuroko. And dude just stands there all devastated. But then he gets angry and goes back on defense just to get dunked on. So this ends up being the catalyst and Saren starts cooking, bro. Like they looking like my team right now. Like look at this lob, bro. Oh my gosh. So to get a quick heat check, Akashi's team calls a timeout, and while he's on the bench, homeboy's like, man, this isn't the Akashi I remember. Matter of fact, who even are you? 
And so after hearing these words, we find out that Akashi really struggles with his identity because after his mom passed, his dad had all these expectations for him to win, etc. man. And so after he started winning with the Generation of Miracles, he realized he wanted to keep... You know what, man? Skip all this. I'm going to keep it a being with y'all. This dude is schizophrenic. He's schizo. He's schizo. He has split personalities. He's tripping. Y'all going to see what I mean. So when bro wakes up out of his schizo attack, his homeboy's just like, is that who I think it... Are you... Mm, it's me, Kermit the Frog here. Let's ball out. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry, I just had the urge to do that. But why does he look like Kermit, bro? So instantly off the timeline, everybody can tell this is a different Akashi. And so he sauces up Kagami easily. And as Kuroko reaches for the ball, he's like, What's up with you, gang? As, as, dime, cash. And so while everybody's in awe, Kuroko's like, Hey, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, that's the real Akashi playing right now. That means we're in for some serious trouble. And as they look over, Akashi apparently got team takeover because his whole team is in the zone. And they playing like it too because then they go for this mean lob and Kagami gets dunked on. Then this man Kuroko picks up another foul and it's looking bad for him like hope is all lost. Until they remember the power of friendship. Kuroko, you can do it! Yeah, if you guys lose, that means they're better than me, so don't. Yeah, I want to see you guys win too. You guys must win because they beat us also. I'm the best shooter alive. And as you know for anime, the power of friendship literally beats all. So y'all can assume what happens next. So when Kagami's taking the ball down the court, he's dropping dimes and they moving that ball around like the Spurs in 08. I don't even know what the Spurs is like in 08, but I know they was doing something like this. Just look at the way they moving as a team for that slam. And so now the game's within six points and they are lit. Then once again, the last person Saren wants getting the ball ends up having it. And he cooks Kagami, putting him on his behind again. And then he's like, yeah, don't get too cocky. I'm him. But look, Kagami not here, none of that. Because the next play down, this man shoots a three and ends up clutching it, making the game within four points. So now when Akashi's team has the ball on offense, some NPC on Saren ends up getting a steal and they give it to Four Eyes for a mid-range shot. And luckily, he draws a miracle foul and and one, bruh. Like, what is going on? So now the game's literally within one point, And this man, Four Eyes, is at the free throw line with one last shot. And you know what he does? He misses it on purpose. And Saren gets the rebound. Now with Saren having possession, there's about three seconds left on the clock and Bro kicks it out to Kuroko. And Kuroko's got an open shot, or so we thought, cause this man Akashi comes out of nowhere and jumps with him. I won't let you shoot this Kuroko. And this gotcha. man Kuroko throws the meanest lob, the greatest lob of all time for the dub. And yeah, although Akashi's team didn't end up winning, you know, we got to see a great player showcase and you know what I'm saying? The main character stood the dub. But most of all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video for real. I hope y'all drop a comment, like, whatever you want to do. I'm going to catch up, boys. God bless. Through Crew 5 Bell. We out.